four processes and systems to increase your revenue now. Now, I've shared these before on my free training, Protect Your Profit, but I get like 30 seconds to go through each one. And I always get questions on them. So today I want to go deeper and give you more detail on what every one of those systems looks like, okay? Now, I do believe these are great for quick cash injections, but I wouldn't think of them like that. To me, I'm not here for quick cash. I am here for long-term strategy that will keep the revenues growing, right? So these aren't try this for a week and make some quick money, all right? When I say systems and processes, I mean setting these up for permanent growth. And if you set them up right, you won't have to touch it for a while because they're going to run in the background without you, okay? Now, one of the things that drives me nuts on my training that I have to share, okay, is I'll explain what the system is. And then I'll ask people, rate yourselves on a scale of one to 10, where you're at. And whenever somebody's like, I'm a 10, I'm like, you are not a 10. Like I can tell you right now, there is 0% chance you are a 10 in follow-up or in fill in the blank, right? And I just want to go on this massive rant, but I don't have time because it's, it's an hour long training and I know I'll be behind if I do it. But can I just go on a rant for one second with you because we have the time, okay? When you say you're a 10, you are making a claim that you are so good at that thing that there's nothing you could possibly do to be better. And I hate that for you, okay? Because if you're at the top right now and you've done all the strategies, then you've peaked and you don't wanna be peaking, right? So here's the thing that I guarantee, right? If I could see your system I know I could find like a hole or a little bit of an area of room for improvement. The chances of you doing everything perfect in any one of these systems are slim to none. But it shocks me when I see I'm a 10, we're a 10. This is our strength. We're so good. You can be good. But I want you always thinking of yourself as like an eight or a nine, knowing you could always be better, right? We do team evaluations and my team, like so many people will put them, they're, they're just crushing it. And they're like, I'm a four, I'm a four out of five. I'm a four. And I'll say, why did you rate yourself a four? And they're like, because there's always room for improvement. I'm like, thank you. Like, I agree with you. Like you are killing it, but there's always the next level. Okay. So anyway, when you're, when we're talking about these four systems, I don't want you thinking, oh, got it done. Moving on. What's the next one? Right. I want you slowing down and really asking yourself, like, let's say you think you're a 10. Okay, what if I told you, I judged it and I said, actually, it's a five. What would you be missing? What could you add or enhance this specific system? When you think that way, the sky is the limit, okay? So number one is a follow-up system. So this is probably, I believe, me personally and well-oiled, is our biggest area of opportunity. And actually, I'm going to say the studio, probably the same thing, okay? So when I say follow-up, I mean Every qualified person that ever contacts you, okay, whether that be social media DMs, whether that means they called you on the phone, they emailed you, they opted in, that you are continuously reaching out until they have literally hit stop or unsubscribe, okay? I have seen lots of follow-up systems with my clients, and they are usually barely scratching the surface, okay? So what happens is somebody calls your business, the person working answers, right? It leads to a few questions. The friendly team member answers, and then they hang up when it's over, right? They never got their name. They didn't get their phone number, right? All of this. And then here's what happens. They, they said, well, the lead said that they were going to just register on our website. It's like, do you know how many people say they're going to register on your website, but then they don't? They get busy. They forget, right? Which is why you need to remind them, which is why follow-up is so important, okay? I always use this as an example and it usually clicks for people. How many times has your friend texted you, okay? And you're busy, you see it, you're like, I'll get to it later and you don't. But then they're like, hey, hello, right? Like they ping you again. You're like, oh my goodness, thank you. I forgot to respond. This is your friend. This is not somebody you're avoiding, right? How many businesses are feeling pushy and they don't follow up and they lose the sale, okay? So recently, I actually opted into somebody and their follow-up was phenomenal. Like, it was so good. I, I just kept thinking, man, I got to use some of these strategies. But what was interesting was they were so hot for like a week or two and then it was over. 
And I never heard from them ever again. And I was like, interesting. Okay. Because even that, you might be thinking like, they might've said, I'm a 10 and follow up. We crush follow up. Not if it's a two week long process and it's over. Okay. You want to be following up with your quality leads indefinitely. Okay. Until they've literally said, I'm not interested. Stop, like unsubscribe, right? All of that. Okay. So with that said, We are spending a huge amount of focus right now in 2024 on our follow-up system, okay? So I really want you, and, and we're doing it two ways. We are dialing in some of our automations, but also hiring more people so we have that one-on-one personal touch as well. I really do think, like what I said to you, like their follow-up was insane. It was automated text, automated emails, a, a actual phone call. Whether that phone call, which was a voicemail, was automated, I don't even know, which is so good when I don't know, but I know it's possible. It was just so good, right? But it's a mix. It's, it's one-on-one and it's also automated. I think that is what good follow-up looks like in 2024, okay? So now I want you to think about this. Think about how many people have inquired about your business over the years and haven't bought from you. The amount of money you are leaving on the table is probably outrageous, okay? So with that said, I want you thinking about where is your opportunity? Could you up the automations going on? If any, like there might be none, right? Could you have something better in the one-on-one situation with team members as well? Ideally, it's like all of them, right? It's really making sure that you're doing it. And here's the thing. Why would you hire somebody? Why would you pay for a software to automate? Because it's going to be worth its weight in gold. You're going to get the money back very, very easily, okay? All right, number two, reactivation. So most of you have heard a follow-up and you immediately, like, you knew what I was talking about, right? But sometimes I get people to say, what is reactivation, okay? So reactivation, so let me go back to follow-up. Follow-up is somebody who's never bought from you before and you're trying to get them to buy reactivation is they actually were a client at one point and we're trying to get them to re-buy. We're trying to reactivate them, okay? So right now, you are losing customers, okay? I have never met somebody who's never lost a customer before. It happens always, right? It would be amazing when you think about what if somebody bought from me and they never left me? Again, how much money would you be racking up? That's not the case though, right? You will lose some. So whether they just forgot about you or they tried somebody else, right, or they just don't see the value in it at the moment, right, maybe their their reasonings have changed. There are a million reasons, but the goal is get as many of them as back as soon as possible, okay? Now, the good news is this is actually already happening most likely without you doing anything. It's possible they left, went somewhere else, they decided you were better, right, and now they're back. That's passively reactivating customers. It is already happening. But when I talk about a process and a system, I am not talking about passive. I am talking about active. I'm talking about being proactive, right? So we don't just want it to happen. We want it to intentionally be going on. So you'll want to incorporate a reactivation campaign into your systems, okay? So imagine if you came up with a, to start, a quarterly campaign, and you only sent out a campaign or a promotion to anybody that used to be a client, but hasn't bought in the last 90 days, 30 days, who knows, right? You get to decide, right? So you're only mailing them out. Now, this is where a lot of business owners don't market well enough. They think, well, these people know me. They love me. Guys, they don't buy from you anymore, okay? So they're not as convinced as you think. They at one point were convinced, but they left, which means they lost some of that conviction. So you need to market just as hard to get those people back in the door. So come up with an amazing offer, an incentive, a bonus, or let them know what's different, okay? People leave for a reason, and they probably aren't staying up to date with what you've been doing. So fill them in, okay? Now, inside of Well-Oiled, we have all of these systems mapped out for you. But I will tell you, number two, reactivation is what we have seen be the biggest area of opportunity for cash on the table, okay? So if you're inside of Well-Oiled or you're joining Well-Oiled right now, 
I want you to know there is actually a section in there that is a quick cash injection for 30 days. And we have mapped out everything to say and do to reactivate as many customers as you can. And the goal behind that is you're literally going to pay for the entire well-oiled operations like program by doing this campaign. And then you've got five more months in the program for free, right? Because you've just made back your investment. So Make sure you check that out. If you're in it or you're about to join, you're going to want to get in there right away. Okay, number three, referrals. Again, this is one you're probably doing. You're like, check. But if you're being passive, that is not what I'm talking about. And most small businesses are just getting referrals. And it is a very passive activity, okay? Don't think you've nailed this if you get lots of referrals, but you have no system. Okay, so if you don't have one, wait till you see what happens when you put in a good one. Okay, a good referral system is automated. Okay, the reason I say that it's automated is because if you don't have one automated, you won't be consistent. So you might be like, no, 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 we have a great one on one personal reach out. Okay, okay. does it happen with every single person? And a lot of times the answer is no, because you're busy. Okay. The second piece of this is I think my personal opinion, I've seen it work the best and I've taught this to many, many people and I've seen it work the best when you incentivize a referral. Okay. So could you just ask for referrals and tell people you're looking for referrals? Yes. And you absolutely may get them. Okay. So what I like to do though, is I like to typically do something for the referrer and the referee. Okay. Now, if you're thinking, but I get so many referrals, Stacey. I don't need to incentivize. I'm going to lose money if I do that, okay? I am telling you, I have never seen this not work, okay? That's a bold statement, but I haven't. If you're getting a lot, wait until you see what happens when you make it juicy and exciting. Think about it, okay? These raving fans, they should be thanked. Like, they, you should be appreciating that. Like, is it really going to hurt you to gift them something back? No, it's like the law of reciprocity, right? It's going to kick in and you're going to see it come back to you even more than what's been happening, okay? Here's like my favorite example that we saw in one of our businesses. So we had this woman who had been with us for years and she had referred quite a few people over the years, okay? But they were like here and there, you know, one this month and one next month. And it was like spaced out, okay? But it was still very grateful, very happy. But I was I was passively getting referrals from her, okay? And one day, um, we were taught from a mentor how to incentivize referrals and what to do. And we put in the referral campaign. And this woman referred seven people in one week. She had never referred seven people in a month. And all of a sudden, it was seven people in one week, okay? We gave her a reason, a juicy enough reason to tell somebody, to tell a friend, right? And because the referrer and referee both got something, she didn't feel bad saying, hey, by the way, like my studio is doing a promotion this month. And if you join, you're going to get this and I'm going to get this. So she told people, okay? So I'm telling you, when you start to utilize this in your business, you are going to see it come back so much more than what you're doing now, okay? Now, With that said, don't work on a referral program if you know your product, program, or service isn't great right now, okay? Some of you, maybe you've grown too fast and the quality is not there at the moment and you know it. I've been there. Like, I've definitely been there where I'm like, oh my goodness, we cannot take any more students, right? And we've had to pause, okay? I'm not going to be in a season of trying to get referrals if I know we've got to clean up. So if you're not in a place where you can handle more, or you just feel like, no, you could do better and actually making your product program or service better, then don't put the referral program in place yet. Because here's the deal. It's going to be really hard to get people to refer you if they're not having a great experience now. Okay. Imagine what this would look like if you increased your referrals by 10%, 20%. Your business would look a whole lot different in the next 12 months. Number four, upsells. So this one is all about increasing the customer lifetime value. The number one reason you want to do this and you want to focus on this is because it costs money to acquire a new customer and it massively dips into your margins, right? So if a customer's worth 500 and it's costing you 150, right? Your margins are slim. Okay, or maybe maybe that's good for you, but listen, so obviously there's a margin there. Now, you get that up to 750 and it still costs 150 to acquire, your margins grow, okay? 
So the more they are worth, the more you can spend. So what happens when, you know, it costs 150 and then you've got a few other add-ons and expenses that go into it and there's just not that much left over. And then your cost to acquire has gone up. Maybe you're in Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, and the numbers are starting to skyrocket. At some point, you just can't pay to play because the math doesn't make sense, right? So the more a client is worth, the more you have flexibility in saying, bummer, we used to get a customer for $50. Now it's costing 75. Well, if the math still works because you're working on increasing the customer lifetime value, you're going to be okay. All right. Now, there's always somebody who says, but I'm not even spending money to acquire Stacy. Our organic me social media is just doing phenomenal or our word of mouth is amazing. I don't even have to market. So this doesn't make sense for me. Okay. Here's what I will say. I do believe a strong business has a good mix of organic and paid strategy. Okay. So maybe you're getting away with organic now, but it's rare for us to see. It is usually an exception, not the rule, right? Where somebody is 100% organic. At some point, like it just starts to get harder to market to people, right? At some point, you will want to pay to play, right? So the question is, how do you get them to stay longer? How do you get people to spend more? How do you get them to increase their frequency, okay? So in one of my businesses, we notice that after a certain amount of time, people are upgrading from one offer to the next, okay? Our goal is to condense the amount of time it takes, okay? So we asked ourselves, what can we do to educate them faster, right? To make sure they know it's even available, that's even an option. What would it look like to reduce it from maybe, let's say, six months of an upgrade to two months of an upgrade, right? Asking yourself questions like this will also better serve your customer. Would your customer get better, faster results if they added on other services? If the answer is yes, you want to make sure they know about it, but you also want to make sure it is a system and that it's consistent and you're doing it with every customer that walks through the door. That would obviously qualify for that next level, okay? Now, all four of these systems, right, we just talked about, they are spelled out exactly inside of well-oiled operations. If you're ever wondering, what's the difference between your podcast and the program? The podcast, we're giving you all these tips and strategies. The program, we're spelling it out on how to do just that, okay? So if you wanna see our exact referral system, what we say, what we email, like, the images, everything we're using that's in there, the reactivation campaign, um, the upsell system, all of that is dialed in to show you what it looks like, okay? If you're thinking it's time to stop leaving money on the table and you're seeing it, come join me in my next upcoming live training and learn more about it. So you can go to welloiledoperations.com forward slash class, join us for free. The training is called Protect Your Profit. And I'm showing ways that business owners can increase their profit margins while simultaneously getting their time back. And you're going to learn what it looks like to work with us and how we can help you actually incorporate all four of these money-making systems. Again, go to welloiledoperations.com forward slash class, and I'll see you there live. So bring your questions. 